For a week, the community has worked to honor Cowlitz County Deputy Justin DeRosier, leading up to a memorial service happening Wednesday in North Portland. He was shot and killed one week ago tonight, trying to check on an RV that was blocking the road in Kalama. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live at the University of Portland tonight, where that memorial service being planned will be taking place on Wednesday. She joins us now with the latest. Jennifer. Good evening, Emily. Yes, it's going to take place on campus behind me and today in Longview at one of the city's most iconic spots. People gathered to remember the fallen deputy. Father God, we we lift up our responders, our heroes that walk among us daily. After a prayer and moment of silence, hundreds took the walk around Lake Sacagawea to remember Justin DeRosier. The goal of today's event is number one to honor Justin um, and also to show support for the family, for local law enforcement and firefighter heroes. Kelso barber Bill Ammons says his grandson went to Kelso High School with him. People are starting to really wake up and say, hey, we've got it. We've got to do something. We've got to back our people in blue. Organizers also remembered other members of the community recently lost to violence, including a convenience store clerk who was shot during a robbery and the Rainier police chief also shot and killed. And think about Kayla Chapman, who lost her life in a very senseless, violent act. And also Ralph Painter, the chief of police from Rainier, who lost his life in 2011. Ammon says the owner of the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm donated flowers to hand out to those who attended. Oh, 900 <laughs> that he did out of his heart because he's concerned about Mr. DeRoe, Mr. DeRosier, and Mrs. Uh, the gal that got killed up at the Mini Mart, and what's going on in the county and in the nation. Cash donations were also accepted for DeRosier's family. The sheriff spoke about the sacrifices the men and women in uniform make every day. And we will not let evil uh, detract us from what we do, living our lives and uh, making Cowlitz County a great place to live. Thurman says messages of support are coming from across the country. Let's light a torch inside of us, a fire, and let's keep that community service that we have all done so very well this last week. And let's continue that and keep that fire lit for Justin, for Kayla, and for Ralph. The sheriff says these events are important in order to keep DeRosier's memory alive for his daughter so she understands what a wonderful part of the community he was. Back to you, Emily.